अकबर जी का एंड इज ऑफिन कोटेड बाई वाइज एंड लर्निड पीपल दैट आप कर्म करो फल की चिंता मत करो बट सो माई क्वेश्चन इज दैट इज दिस कंटेम्प्रेरी वर्ल्ड इज इट रियली पॉसिबल फॉर एनी वन ऑफ अस टू डू आर जॉब विदाउट एक्सपेक्टिंग एनी रिजल्ट ऑल दी आउट First of all, what you have quoted is not at all correct. Anyone who says that Krishna, what's her name? Maya. Maya said. Anyone who says that Krishna has says that act and don't think of the results, don't worry about the results, does not understand Krishna. Krishna is not saying karm karo. He is not at all saying act. He is saying. Let action happen. He is saying, let action happen. Karm hone do, tum karta mat bano. Let action happen. You don't become the doer. Let the doing take place. The central message of chapter three, four, and five is against doership. Letting things happen. not pushing things not blocking things letting existence flow neither am i trying to make things happen nor am i trying to stop things from happening there is a particular symphony a particular arrangement a universal order it will take its own course gita is talking of effortless action action is happening there is no one who is making a mental effort that's the message of krishna and when you are saying that in this time and age is this message applicable man times change truth does not change truth is truth precisely because it has a timelessness to the bit it does not change this age that age 10000 years hence in finite number of years hence truth will remain truth there is no way it is going to mutate or adapt yes its representation will change according to the demands of time no doubt language changes words change contexts change truth doesn't change when he is saying that let action happen and don't be affixated with the result what he is saying is as long as there is an actor as long as there is a doer a karta he would always worry about the results it is not possible to act and yet be free of the results that is why i said that those who are saying that the gita says karm karo phal ki chinta mat karo they do not understand gita they have no connection to krishna because if you are the one who is doing the karma you would always be the one who would worry about the results of the karma freedom from the results of karma is possible only when you do not become the karta only when you know that this is happening through me not by me i am what krishna himself says just the nimitt karan i am not the one through whose desire is bringing about this action or that it is happening through me i don't need to take it too seriously i do not need to become infatuated obsessed with it let the action happen and the action knows how to happen you see usually we play the game hmm, the game of living krishna is saying let the game play you you don't play the game let the game play you the game very well knows how to play you there is a universal order the game knows how to play you if the game could give birth to you if the game could give sunlight and fresh air to you if the game could make you breathe and digest and grow then the game surely knows how to play you you don't need to worry and be tense you don't need to think about the future be absorbed within stay centered and let the happening happen remember when we are saying let the happening happen 
that does not mean that I'll stop it from happening. If the happening says that right now I must study or I must run, then allow yourself to run. When it is the moment to weep and cry, then allow yourself to cry. Don't hold back your tears. Let it happen. The central word is let it. Let it. Don't block it. Don't push it. You get out of your own way. That's how Zen put it. puts it. Get out of your own way. You will flow. Life will flow. You are the one who is blocking the flow. Get out of your own way. And that's what Krishna is also saying. The same thing that Zen says. Hmm? Difficult to handle. Hmm?